Today the plan is this, this bridge from 6, it used to be 6, 7, 10, 11. Now number 7 has been removed. And um, so we're going to place an implant in, take the bridge off, and then we're going to place an implant in number 7 and the number 9 sites. When we look at the Tomos, the um, nasopalatine canal is rather large, and so it's almost too large, and it's over kind of... You can see that his midline is over toward the right in relationship to the midline on the bridge. So we're going to be able to place an implant here, but not one here. And then um, this bridge, let's see, the, it will end up being a bridge from 7 to 9 and then individual crowns on um, 6, 10, and 11. But we're going to be using this pneumatic bridge remover okay, so we got our stent in I'm going to be doing a tab flap here and I just want to kind of get my bearings. Okay, we're doing a 3.0. This is an implant direct 3.0. You can see that it's got it's HA coated. It's got two different kinds of threads, large and a small thread pattern. Self tapping, so this thing is going in and also expanding the bone at the same time. And you can see that it also has its own abutment and impression coping. Micro pickups. Yes. So his tissue is kind of thick here, so I don't really think we need to augment this site. We can just get our punch. and close it. So I'm going to use my stent to find my center here. It's pretty much at the center of this ridge. If you look at where the center of our osteotomy is, um, it's a little bit toward the facial. And what, what happens is that cortical bone on the palatal aspect is so hard, it kind of pushes you that way. And then if we use the expanders, this expands. But really, uh, well, it's kind of thin here, but if I can get a little more of my osteotomy onto the, um, the palatal aspect,
and I'm going to try to do that. Okay, <clears throat> so we got our bridge off. We got the two implants in, in the seven and nine sites, and our bridge re-cemented. Take a look at this in a couple weeks. This is a two-week healing of the um, implants placed in the seven and nine spots, and you can see the sutures there. We're going to be taking those out today, and we'll take a look at the x-rays next. So this is about a month and a half of healing of the implants that we placed in the number seven and nine sites. That's in the number eight site. The nasal palatine foramen is huge, so that precluded us placing the implant in that site. This is the final restoration on the implants on number seven and nine, and there's a bridge from seven to nine. This is right after the restoration. This is the uh, three month post restoration x ray. This is an x ray after about 10 months after placement. 